Good morning. Today we're back in Washington, starting off our day here in Lacey. We have a couple of things that we want to do. We're going to go pick up some packages and say hi to family. We want to wash the outside of our rig because it's absolutely disgusting. And then we want to go to a dog park because our dogs have not gone out for a really good run in quite a while. Let me show you the status of the RV and how gross it is. So of course, as you'd expect, some bug splatters here. All right. We have not seen a rain to clear this off in uh, <laughs> weeks. That is, uh, oof. Now for the most part, a lot of this is just dust and, and a couple really good rains could, could knock a lot of this off, but some of this is really in here and that's, yeah. I don't know how bird poop got back here. <laughs> You know, that wouldn't be bad if our bikes were uh, were just sprayed off a little bit. Would be would be good. Yeah, you can see dirt cakes with bird poop, so that's less than ideal. And here, to me, is the most annoying one. Basically, grease will slow, you know slowly make its way out of here, but if you don't wash it off, it just accumulates, and it's just kind of it's kind of sticky. It doesn't it doesn't affect anything, but it just doesn't look so good. And there's our step. Nothing to do with washing, but. Boy, is that thing knocked out of there. <laughs> We're gonna go see if we can't find somewhere to wash this guy, a nice wash bay. Uh, or if not, we also saw a truck wash that it's a little more expensive than I'd like to do, what, 80 bucks or something like that? It, it's, not, it's not a hard and fast rule, but someone paid $80 for the RV to be washed. So that seems like a lot to me, but might be worth it because we haven't washed it once in six months. <laughs> and if we can't find a good bay, and I know out in Redmond there's nothing, so if we can't find a good wash bay, then at least that'll get us taken care of. Well, that was a little bit of a bust. They should have opened about 30 minutes ago, but they had barrels up preventing access to their driveway. There was a truck that was on its way out. I think it was just washed, but the strange thing is that there's like no way in. So I don't, I don't know. There was also trucks that looked like they had stayed overnight. So a ah, little bit of a bust, but that's all right. At some point I'd like to polish it up as well. You know, but that's kind of a, that uh, for this rig is probably an all day job, if not two days, you know, depending. I'd probably start pretty early in the morning and all that good stuff. So uh, that's all right. We're gonna check another wash bay in Federal Way after we stop by and see my mom. And then if that fails, we've got like two other options. I think there's one in Milton and there's one in Muckleteo, which is way far north, but we'll find something. We were at Camping World and uh, actually got my niece a couple gifts here. We got our nice camper nightlight, because kids love nightlights, and a cute little food tray. Also Ex known as a plate. Eat, sleep, camp. It's got a porcupine, a bear, a bunny, a bike, s'mores, and a little trailer, and a little kite. How cute is that? Huh? Look at that out to the van. Hello, Zoe's hon. Hello. Oh boy, Zoe, who's got gifts for you? Oh boy, hello. Close your eyes, hold out your hands. 
Close your eyes. Hold out your hands. Oh, she's praying now. She's praying. Oh my god! Ah! Yay! Camping plates! Why is it so dark in here? Wow! Wow! Look at his face! Oh, bye, boy! Oh my god! A light! <laughs> oh my god! Night ride! Wow! Alrighty, so we did some catching up and got our packages, which uh, that'll be an interesting upcoming video, I think. And now we're actually gonna try something called a Mr. Truck Wash. I don't, I don't know if it's good. It gets good reviews. like we made it. I did not see that working, but we're in. So finally we have a car wash. anticipated and in one corner it's like just peeling away so I'm not too happy about that but we are gonna go ahead and stop at Walmart real quick get a, a set of microfiber cloths then I'm gonna re rewash and wipe everything and then I'm gonna look at where the biggest problem areas are with the scratches and maybe spend a couple hours trying to buff a lot of those out I'm, uh, I'm very disappointed right now because I thought that this paint would be a lot harder than it and than it actually is and boy, what a pain. We also found out, so the mop head, we have kind of a microfiber cloth mop head. The stick that it was attached to was just, it was terrible. So I actually broke it while scrubbing. Well, I'm gonna get it as good as we can and then we'll, uh, we can review it at that point. show you kind of uh, what we've got after just the car wash which is by far not to where I'd like it to be and then I'll show you kind of what we're gonna do now while we're at this rest area and we can kind of spread out a little bit so starting at the front you know the hood looks okay uh, because what we had done of course was we did an initial rinse then a scrub of course that then sat on there I scrubbed everything down to loosen it up then we went ahead and scrubbed once more, a quick scrub and then a re-rinse, um, and it didn't quite get everything. Now, a lot of this stuff up here is very stubborn. Not a huge fan of that. That is very, very difficult to, to get without a ladder, so I'm gonna get up there by hand. Uh, the front looks okay, you know, for what it is. That's all right. And you can see there's just a lot of spots that just had, had been missed. Uh, we've got some scratches up here that I'll, I'll take a look at. Uh, the windows actually turned out all right. Um, although I'm gonna hit the, I'm gonna hit every one of the windows with Windex on the outside. Yeah, you can see some brush marks where we tried. And uh, the back, this side actually doesn't look that bad. The back here, that yeah, looks horrible. I thought that we got this a lot better. Of course, when there's light and shadows, it's just hard to tell. But uh, we did scrub every inch of this, and then it dried, of course. And here's what we're left with. And then you know this side. It's definitely better than it was, but it's not, it's not great. And these wheels look 
atrocious. They've, these have been scrubbed. They just don't look good. So we've got we've got a couple couple things to do here. So I'm gonna start with the all wheel cleaner. I hope it works. If it doesn't, it was you know five bucks. Now I'm gonna go to the ceramic, and it doesn't matter that it's ceramic here. Uh, I'm gonna go to the waterless car wash, and we've got a ton of microfiber towels. So I'm gonna go ahead and I have one that I'm gonna apply it with, wipe the dirt off. Then I'm gonna go ahead and use another one to wipe it off. Uh, so that should take care of you know the dirt there. Hopefully not rubbing in all of that. And I'm gonna hit all of the glass actually first with glass cleaner. So clean glass is such a nice thing. Absolutely fantastic. I am horrified that our motorhome looks like this. Got a new rag, we're gonna use a waterless car wash. I'm gonna work in sections. So I'm gonna try to go top first, probably top left, bottom left, bottom right, top right. I'm gonna try to avoid smearing anything in, just in case. There's nothing that should be too grimy or anything like that, but don't wanna make anything worse. And we had actually had this light replaced. So I'm gonna see if there's any way of getting a lot of that extra silicone off of there, just from around it, because that seems to be gathering some dirt up there. All right, went about the halfway point here over. That's, uh, that's a lot better than it was. And then of course, you can kind of see more so the, the before and after. So pretty good improvement, though I will say there is a, that is a dirty rag. So we have a lot of them. So. <laughs> And I'm not so sure about this graphene uh, spotless wash. It's leaving a bit of a residue, and which I would expect a little bit of that. The downside is that under this specific condition, uh, it's actually drying on and then leaving that residue. So what I may end up doing is, is applying it and then coming back later. So once it's completely dried and it stops smudging because it's, it's leaving a bit of something there. And some of this was already there. Some of that was already there from before, so I may just go ahead and repolish this. I mean, it's not going to be perfect, but I don't want it to look hazy either. This side is, well, in my opinion, looking pretty darn good. But here's something kind of interesting that I found. As I'm scrubbing along here, this is nice and smooth and you can see a reflection. But I'm getting over here and you can kind of hear that. So no sound here. And I'm hearing scratchiness and I'm like, what in the world is that? They didn't put clear coat on this. So they, they faded like this and you can actually feel where they faded. And, uh, and there's clear over here. There's no clear coat anywhere in, in here, or it was not polished properly. This is glossy, like it's glossy right in here and then right in here it's just not. So it's all the way down, same thing. So very interesting, just a line there. On we go. I noticed a smudge up here and check this out. So this, this really no sound here there's a lot here and this is clean it's all clean there's a lot of sound here leading <laughs> me to believe that either there's no clear coat or it wasn't polished <sighs> interesting right above the uh the kitchen window that's a shame all righty and just like that she's done so I am gonna run a little bit of something on the wheels here, but 
that is a lot better. Got a little buffing to do. The graphene stuff actually dries pretty quickly, uh, but it's actually shiny again. So but that is pretty nice. So a couple bugs up there still. Some of those are really in there. And overall, I'm pretty happy with how it's turning out so far. I've got a lot of polishing that I'd like to do. And then we'll run another, another layer of turtle wax. But with this stuff, you're not supposed to put anything over it for at least a week. And I also have some thoughts on the paint with this guy. Yeah, that's gonna be a whole other video because there's some things that I found that I'm not too impressed with. Other than that, pretty darn happy. So let's move on to the wheels. These wheels, they look uh, pretty gross. They do not look so great at all. Now I did uh, scrub these a little bit and then Emma sprayed them down and then Emma scrubbed them. They don't look so good. So we're gonna try some of this no scrub black magic all wheel cleaner. Uh, and you're supposed to let this stuff sit and then rinse it off. So, so we'll let it sit for about two minutes, then rinse it off for the best results. You wanna dry it right after. Let's see how well this stuff does. We've got a bucket and inside that bucket we've got our handy dandy wheel brush. So I'm gonna go and fill that with water and then we can splash these guys. Already looks a little better. It looks, uh, already looks a lot better actually. I mean, that's, that's something in here it's going to probably need some work, but that's all right, we'll get to that. Let's see what we've got here. Oh yeah, those, you can already tell those look a lot better. There's some, some of that grime up here. I don't expect it to be perfect though. I'm going to definitely scrub, I'm going to spray this stuff again. But if you look, that's a lot better than it was. All right, let me scrub this and, and then I'll respray it. Now this is the rear wheel after spraying and before being rinsed off. I suspect this does a lot better simply because it's not this rim that takes the brake dust it's the one behind it being that these are dually so that's nice but i'm still going to go ahead and give that a second coat after letting this stuff sit for a little bit i'm not seeing this stuff come out and you can see i mean some of it's coming off with some agitation here but it's not coming off with the brush so what i'm doing is I'm, I'm taking steel wool now these are pretty soft aluminum rims compared to the steel wool so you want to keep this if you're going to try this yourself keep it within each of these rings I'm using it here and then just around the bead. Uh, I did on the other one and I think I'm gonna do that here as well because that's kind of stubborn. And if you just simply wipe like that, it's getting that pretty darn clean. And just to compare, I'm done with this one. I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. Uh, they look pretty all right. Now they're not perfect. I could take sandpaper to them really get in there and then clear coat over that. But this is good enough for a rust area detailing. So let me finish this guy up. And the rears really don't need much. So I'm not even touching those with the steel wheel. They just don't need it. Alrighty, and the wheel is done. Looks all right. Again, I, it's not perfect. There's still some, some splotchiness there. I don't love but I'm not ready to take steel wool to it to resolve that until I can then go back in and, and clear coat it. So good enough for now. There's the rear rims. That looks a lot better. It doesn't, it doesn't have much in the way of splotchiness or anything like that, but I think they look great. But alrighty, there she is. I think it looks great. I think it looks really good. So not perfect, of course, but especially with those rims sparkling again, I think that sets it off. So while I'm outside cleaning, Emma has been in here. What, you mopped, I, swept? I swept, I mopped, I dusted, I wiped all the windows down, I wiped all the hard surfaces down with cleaner. Um, I really just got everything ready so that when school starts, not have to worry so much about deep cleaning everything. Oh yeah. Yeah, everything, I don't know if you guys probably didn't notice this, but this was all pretty darn dusty up here. And there was a huge, huge, how big was that fur ball? This big. It was freaking it was massive. massive. So everything's looking good. I've got some stuff for work that I need to get set up. And 
we've got everything <laughs> hang drying back here but yeah that's looking a lot better but it does feel good to have a very clean rig so i did take the screens out of the windows uh, to clean them and I just like the way they look better. I like the feel better with the screens out. So I think we're gonna try leaving the screens out and maybe there'll be some bugs, but. Hmm. Here in Washington, actually, we get a lot less bugs than everywhere else that we've been. So that's kind of nice. And we're going into fall, so that'll also die down. Hard to argue with that. Having a nice dust-free dashboard is huge, huge plus. Well. That was a lot of work though, so I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here and crash because my hands hurt. That's a good full day of work, I'll tell you that. Thank you for watching guys, see you in the next video. Bye guys. Bye.